Good morning, players. So after that disastrous cult rally at Madison Square Garden last night, Frumpy Dump and his campaign is now trying to distance itself from the so-called comedian, Tony Hitchcliffe. As we all know, honey, he made some despicable remarks last night regarding Puerto Rico, saying that uh, it's a pile of garbage. He also made some sort of remark regarding Mexicans, saying that they have a bunch of children. Uh, they, they just come inside of the country. And then um, in a dig toward black people, he talked about watermelons. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Last night, the campaign issued a statement saying that the comedian's jokes does not align with the views of Frumpy Dump and his campaign. Mm -hmm. So now the congregation of the Internet Streets is riding down on Tony Hitchcliffe and they're looking into his past. What exactly led the Frumpy Dump campaign to choose this particular comedian? The congregation has found this tweet where Tony Hitchcliffe says he wants to go half on a slave. They also found this comedy session where Tony was invited to make jokes, I guess, about Asians, and he referred to them as a slur. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, just because of those tweets alone, you would think that the Frumpy Dump campaign would understand what they were getting when they hired Tony Hitchcliffe, but I digress. It is also being reported that Tony Hitchcliffe used a teleprompter. So if he used a teleprompter, then those jokes should have been pre-approved and vetted. So what in the haberdatrice and hemoglobin is going on here? And even if he didn't use a te teleprompter as being reported, you guys should have looked over his jokes and known that that was going to be an absolute disaster. But you don't care because this is what you uh, align yourself with. Creating a division in this country based on race is what this campaign literally is. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, Tony Hitchcliffe is over on Twitter trying to defend himself. He responded to a clip of Governor Tim Walls and AOC as they reacted to his comment regarding Puerto Rico. And he says, and I quote, these people have no sense of humor. While that a vice presidential candidate would take out of time out of his busy schedule to analyze a joke taken out of context to make it seem racist. I love Puerto Rico and I vacationed there. I made fun of everyone, watched the whole set. I'm a comedian, Tim. Might be time to change your tampon. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now listen, I watched that entire set. I didn't laugh not one single time. None of his jokes were funny. In fact, I didn't find that it to be uh, jokes. I found it to be insults against other races that are not white. And saying that you vacation in Puerto Rico, in my opinion, is the equivalent of saying, oh, I have black friends, so I can't be racist. Child, it's a disgrace. Now, in response to that despicable remark about Puerto Rico, there have been some unexpected delights by some uh, Puerto Rican celebrities. We have uh, Ricky Martin, J-Lo, and Bad Bunny, and another uh, Puerto Rican uh, artist that has posted either Kamala's uh, policies regarding Puerto Rico saying she wants to create an opportunity economy or they just posted uh, about Kamala. In my opinion, last night's cult rally was despicable and disgusting, but it is indicative of the MAGA world that Frumpy Dump and his cult members are trying to create a country that is steeped in hate, division, deceitfulness, and self-loathing. It's the rules for thee, but not for me mentality. It is the uh, saying that this country is absolutely down in the dumps when the statistics do not show that. That's what Frumpy Dump did. It was so bad that CNN had to cut away from his comments because of all the lies that he was saying. He said that FEMA uh, hadn't even responded in North Carolina. And these people sat there and ate that up. And, you know, for you undecided voters that watched that last night, I don't understand how you're still undecided, but for you undecided voters that saw that last night, you're going to have to decide whether that is a world that you want to live in that is not rooted in fact, that is based on hate, lies, and deceit, or you're going to live in a world where we have hope, where we create opportunity, where we create uh, the, the world that we want to see for our children. That is what you're going to have to decide. And last night was a depiction of what it would be like on that side. And it's disgusting. 
in my opinion. But players, I want to know what you all think. Put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mo for the Black Heart News.